Hi guys, this is Rusty78609. It's Wednesday morning, almost noonish, and we're in Carrizozo, New Mexico. I'm turning on B Avenue. We're going to check out Carrizozo, small town, central New Mexico, and let's go see it. We've seen all the other ones. We might as well see this one, just because it's a small town. It's not exempt. But anyway, I got me some dark chocolate almonds and green tea. Life's good. Just did my walking. Did a video for y'all to see the park. This is a small town, obviously. Dusty town. Windy, windy last night. And I can see that where I am right now is probably not the wealthiest section of the town, but it doesn't matter. It's still part of Carrizozo. Could I live here? Uh, yeah, probably. I'd like to learn how to speak Spanish first or while I'm here, because if you can speak the language, you can understand the culture and you'll get along a whole lot better. Now we're coming to the intersection of Drexel Boulevard and B Avenue, and to the right is the airport and detention center. And we're gonna follow this all the way through, and then I'm gonna come back around. There's a little grocery store downtown I wanna to go to and see what they have and what they don't have. <clears throat> also, I want to check on, a, there's a hamburger place right downtown that's really a pretty neat little place. You know, could I live here? Sure, I could live here. Yeah, I'd rather have a place with a little better view than where I am right now, but yeah, nothing wrong with this place. Not, it's not that far from Alamogardo, probably, oh, 60 miles maybe. Right now it's 59 degrees, uh, no wind at all. Last night it was whew, very windy, but that's typical. Well, this flag up here actually shows there's a little wind now. Wind would be out of the west, according to that flag. I don't have my wind sock and I don't have my tumbleweed, so I don't know which way the wind's blowing, but that flag helps. It's coming out of the west. This must be, well, there's a lot of solar panels there. I'll guarantee you that on the left. I mean, a lot. This must be a school district, a school, because it's, well, genius, Rusty. There's a sign that says school. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yeah, I know where I am. But I guess they run the school on solar. Be interesting, wouldn't it? Or, you know, some of the power is coming from solar, or a lot. They got a lot of panels there. Well, that's one thing they've got here is sunlight. So I guess school's still in session, but I don't see any children. I guess they're all in the classroom, or else nobody showed up. Yeah, this is a sleepy little town like I grew up in, like Kennedy, Texas. Yep, I can remember Kennedy in the 1950s, and it was a nice place. Okay, this is a rough little street, but it shouldn't be too bad because I'm not going to drive very fast. Guy's got a big sign there and a big rock wall, which is typical Spanish. And it says, beware of dog, which is not unusual. We're, now we're at 11th Street, but we're not too far from the outskirts of town. And then we'll turn to the left and go back down Main Street and then I'll end the video. But let me see if I can hold this a little steadier. Nice little homes. They need a little larger budget for streets and drainage. There's Mr. Big's house right down there on the right. I'd turn that way, but it's a dead end right at his house. And he probably runs his whole town from the looks of that house. Compared to these others, I would say that was Mr. Big. There's one on the left there with a satellite antenna. It looks like it hadn't been lived in in about 50 years. There's a tumbleweed in the street. I ought to get it. The tumbling, tumbling, tumbling tumbleweed, sons of the pioneers. 
we're going to go all the way out to the end of this street here. I mean, I may regret that incision. I probably picked the roughest street in the whole town. Carrizozo, C-A-R-R-I-Z-O-Z-O, -Z -O, I think. There's an RV park. Not a bad one either. I imagine it's pretty reasonable. Not that I want to stay in an RV park, but if I did, I could. Probably got a laundromat next to it. Oh, they got a little restaurant called The Sands or something. Or maybe that's a motel. This is right next to a major highway, but there's not a whole lot of traffic. Straight ahead, you'll see that railroad track with those cargo carriers. Thousands of, far as I can see, in both directions, but it's all empty. So I guess they're heading back to pick up some more. It says Tularosa 45, Alamogordo 54, El Paso, Texas 124. Now let's go down this way. My speed limit speed is 9 miles an hour. Now I'm up to 10. I'm rolling now. RV full hookups doesn't say, does it, the price? $25 a night and up. Billy the Kid Country. They make a lot of money off that old ugly guy. 25 mile per hour speed limit. Yeah, I would say that uh, a high paying job in this town would be 10 bucks an hour. We got a place here called the Bike Shop. And they got storage units, so I guess there's a few people that have too much stuff and have to put it somewhere. This is coming into downtown. A lot of vacant buildings, which is not unusual in small town America. There's another section off the... Let me take a ride here. Let's go down here. This is a better section of town over here. This is actually the main drag, but the grocery store I wanted to go to is over on the left down that same street. But again, small town America, there's a lady pushing her grandchildren, I'm sure, down the street. That's not her kids, because she looks like she's about, she waves, so that's small town America. There's the little city park there. And there's the Carrizozo Theater. There's the Outpost Bar and Grill. That's where I'd hang out. There's the hamburger spot. It's called Hamburgers and Chili. We'll come back by there. How long has this been? I, the camera's probably completely wrong, but uh, here's one here called Heart of the Raven. Okay. Eat and drink, street coffee. Open. That one's open. You can go and get some coffee. You know, I, I never did drink coffee. Got a little art gallery there. Carrizozo Trading Company on the right here. And photography. That looks like a little artsy place. There's a Wells Fargo. I know y'all are really into this, right? This will be another one of my viral videos. I can just see millions of people excited about seeing the Carrizozo Gas Company. And it's closed. Here's a building called NRCS. What is that? Natural Resources Conservation Center. All right. And then we're getting into a neighborhood, so I'm going to turn around and go. I want to see that hamburger place because I went in there one time. They have unusual hours, I mean, which I can understand. You know, when you've only got a potential of three customers a week, uh, you don't need to be open 24 hours a day. We're on 12th Street. I guess I can make a U-turn like that. I just did it. And yeah, this is, the, you know, the, the, the thing I like about New Mexico is I like the Mexican culture. I like the flavor of Mexico. I like Mexican food. I like the Mexican people. Uh, you know, it's a, I don't know. I just enjoy this flavor. And of course, the, uh, the original people are around here too, and they add a little flavor. Another lady walking her dog. 
She's got a little bag waiting for it to poop. God, how gross. Uh, anyway, it's a neat town. It is. I mean, I've actually parked up there by the city park and made, walked around here. And then you really get to see it. We may do that one day. May do that. Because they do have some neat art and stuff. I think this is where the... This is Dulce Street. D-U-L-C-E. Oh, Dulce Avenue. I stand corrected. Okay. And here's uh, hamburgers and chili. And then the layers of laundry. Right there. Uh, it's been closed about 50 years. Because they had a washboard in there. I'm just kidding. See if I can read their hours. Well, they don't have it. it. Says credit cards, checks, outside food or drink. Okay, let me go to right by right by the police station. I thought they might have their hours posted, but it says help. Oh, it says for sale, so I guess it's closed. But well, it says help wanted too. So what does that mean? Help wanted to help close, I guess. Here's the Carrizozo Market right by the police station, and that's where I'm going to end the video. Why? Because I want to go in the Carrizozo Market and see what they've got. And they're closed. Well, I can see right now that going in the Carrizozo Market will not be on the... It's, it's for sale, Tierra Verde property. So the video continues, folks. You locked out. I didn't end it. I know you, you're all excited and doing one-handed push-ups because I didn't end the video. Here's the Lincoln something. Lincoln County News. Okay. Mark Twain worked there. He did. All right, so they don't have a grocery store. Is that what I'm hearing here? Because that's where I used to go and pick up a few things. And I didn't see one on Main Street. I don't see one here. The only thing they've got then is this gas station out here. And that is not a thriller from Manila, I have to tell you. Why? Because the prices at that place are about three times what they ought to be. But they have what's called a captive audience. The museum is off to the right. I stumbled into it last year, did a video. They have a visitor center always closed well I haven't seen a grocery store guys at all that all sips right there they got all kind of stuff I'm gonna let's go over the bridge here this goes towards uh, what's the name of that town uh, oh, well maybe I'll see the sign. that four winds restaurant there on the right it's pretty good I've been in there and got some Mexican food there's the Car Car Carrizozo Heritage Museum. That's where I went last year. Maybe they got a grocery store hid out here on the other side of town, you think? I don't. Crossing the railroad tracks there. And ain't nothing out here, folks. Ain't narrow. Not narrow. Yeah, but this road goes to a neat little place in uh, New Mexico. Actually, you can go straight ahead of it to Capitan and then Roswell. And then there's another town off to the right where they have the racetracks. I never can remember the name. Ruidoso. Ruidoso. Yeah, you go up here and there's a fork in the road. I mean, not a eating fork. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you? Okay, well, let's go back to all sorts and see because I'm wondering if I can get any uh, filtered water other than, I mean, I may have to drink the water from the campground, which is not my favorite. Why? It's drinking water, and you're not going to get, the only problem is when you start drinking water from the campgrounds, occasionally you're going to get a little upset stomach. Because whatever bacteria is in that water is a bacteria that your body may not have been exposed to. Well, anyway, I'm going to pull over here to Alon, which is also Alsip's little 
place. <clears throat> And if I can find a place to park without hitting 17 cars, <clears throat> that old trading post has been closed for longer than I am old. <clears throat> Let's see it. They got if they got a. I haven't seen a filtered water stop anywhere. The reason I'm pulling way over here like this is so that no one will box me in because I got to back out. I didn't back in. But anyway, guys, from Carrizozo, New Mexico, this is Rusty78609 out from one of his famous drives, according to PJ Bikerful. And y'all got a great view there, don't you? But anyway, having said that, guys, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything your little heart desires. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission, and it doesn't cost you a dime to use the link. So... What else? Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, take deep breaths, and all that stuff to keep your health because that's what you got to do. They got tamales. They got all kind of food in here. I've been in here before. But anyway, enjoy your life one day at a time. Y'all have now seen most of, part of, Carrizozo, New Mexico. Adios, guys. Stand guard at the door of your mind. <laughs>